Welcome to Zoe Home Inspired Living. My name is Rina. I'm a chemical engineer by profession, but a grave and debilitating illness put an end to my otherwise successful career. After being very sick and suffering for many years, I'm now well enough to share my life to inspire you to live beautifully no matter what. God bless you. Let's make some peanut butter chocolate chip cookies while I'll tell you a story that I hope will encourage you. Exactly two years ago today, on November 25, 2021, we left our house of 20 years and moved here in our new home in Sun Valley. It was Thanksgiving Day in America. Months before the move, I was both excited and anxious. Excited because I had wanted to leave our house of 20 years and start somewhere where I could hopefully be healthy, strong, happy, and at peace. Anxious because I hadn't traveled far from home. Not that the new house was very far, but that I hadn't been out of our house for years because of my illness. For the 20 years that we had lived in our old house, there had been celebrations that I'm really thankful for. But one thing that overshadowed all that was the long years of sickness and suffering the countless attacks that terrified me, the fears, anxiety and panic attacks, and the sheer hardship of it all, that many a time it was really unbearable. So I wasn't sad to leave. In fact, my soul longed for our new home where it's surrounded by hills and mountains and quite far from the city. I say my heart and soul longed for it, for I couldn't even see it while it was being renovated. I was so desiring to leave the old and start a new life in the new house with new surroundings but I wasn't really sure if I could endure the travel. I was both excited and scared, scared that I might have one of those attacks, gasping for air like a fish out of the water. I spent those months before the move praying and strengthening my faith. Finally, on the day of the move, I was more than ready. I ordered food so we didn't have to cook when we arrived, and I also wanted to have a small celebration. I ordered Japanese pans of baked sushi with unagi and scallops and assorted inari, with a box of chewy chocolate chip cookies. I also made chicken macaroni salad and maybe some other foods that I can't remember now. At 2 o'clock in the afternoon, we pulled out of the garage and off we went. I didn't look back. I was happy to leave. The drive to the new house was a pleasant one. 
I didn't have any discomforts or difficulties, although I was a bit dizzy, even though my husband drove relatively slow. I was comforted by the stunning views along the way, the verdant mountains and flowering shrubs that lined the road leading up to our new place. When we finally arrived, I was feeling quite faint, but no difficulties, and I was deeply grateful to the Lord. We stayed in Hannah's room upstairs because our room wasn't ready yet. Hannah's room overlooks the mountains beyond. It was just so wonderful. We felt like we were vacationers and in awe of our B&B, &B. but of course, we were here to stay. As I rested in Hannah's bed with a soft throw, enjoying the view, the kids brought, brought out our packed food. We spread out a cover on Hannah's bed and we ate and enjoyed the food and the view and we were exuberantly happy and grateful that we had made the move at last and I survived it. Today, I ordered the same food that we had two years ago, but in place of the chocolate chip cookies that I ordered, I made these peanut butter chocolate chip cookies instead. I am grateful to the Lord for the unity of our family. We are always together. We have been through a lot, what with my illness and the many seasons of suffering and being unable to do many things. But our family stuck together and we did the best we could to enjoy life no matter what. I really can't put it in words, the joy, the encouragement, and inspiration that having my family around me brings. So today, we celebrate two years in our new home. It is our Thanksgiving Day. Now it's time to set the table. I was particularly feeling tired when we did the filming, and so I didn't force myself to do more than I was able. Maybe I was also feeling discouraged about my YouTube channel. I am grateful for all of you who have subscribed and to those of you who never fail to leave me comments that greatly encourage me, I thank you from the bottom of my heart. Here I used a linen runner in pastel green with tiny dots of darker green. Now I'm lining it with these faux olive branches. Now I'm adding these berries to embellish my centerpiece. It's my first time to decorate with fall accents as we don't have fall season in the Philippines. But I found these velvet stuffed pumpkins and I thought they would look good on my Thanksgiving table. And 
and these lovely placemats are a gift from subscriber friends in Canada, Paulina and her mom, Olivka, two beautiful people that love and encourage me so sincerely. I am deeply grateful for them. And these are the pretty Franciscan dinner plates that I featured in a previous video. It's my first time to use them in my table setting. These are Cavalier silver goblets that I thrifted recently. So we are building up a green and silver theme here. These green footed glasses are from my collection. They are also vintage. And of course, I'm using again these lace trimmed table napkins that I made not too long ago with these silver spoon fork knife napkin rings from my collection. You will also be seeing the place cards that I painted in watercolor last year. I'm reusing them today. They feature olives, which is our theme in this Thanksgiving table.
Thank you so much for watching and I trust that you had a blessed Thanksgiving with those you love. Please like, share, and subscribe if you haven't already. I hope this video and my stories have encouraged and inspired you whatever circumstances or situations you are in now. God bless you and I'll see you next time.